Let's go straight to our guest, Tommy Robinson, leader of the EDL. You said you're the leader of the EDL. Who made you the leader? I made myself the leader. So you, you, you made yourself the leader, uh, but you're a big supporter of democracy. Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. Gail in Yorkshire, she's the leader of the women's division of the EDL. Now, who made you the leader of the women's division? I made myself at love. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the democracy is rife in this EDL. Well, I tell don't us, need no leader. Again. I will do my, um, do my own thing. All right, my dear. Tell me what you want to say. Well, I, I can't understand you myself. But what are you doing on my show, then? Well, I, I can't understand you because you you have all this, these problems about English people, but really you are a traitor. Traitor to the only English you had, people that you are. Have you had a wee are. drink? Have you had a wee drink, Gil? Well, you have a Scottish person, don't you have a wee whiskey yourself? No, I don't. I've never drunk alcohol, but you've had a few drinks. Now, just tell me what you phoned up to say uh, on the show of a man that you hate. Say that again, love. Uh, Gail, turn your radio down, because we're hearing you in stereo, and believe me, it's not a pretty sound. Oh, you're not pretty sound yourself, love. No, but... Go on, say it again. Tell me, Gil, what did you phone up to say? I want to know why you're a traitor to your own country. I think the word is traitor, not traitor. No, traitor. Traitor. I'm, traitor. I'm Yorkshire, love. You're a traitor. Why, why, why are you am a traitor? I, uh, well, it's better if you're going to be the English Defence League that you actually speak to me in English. In what way am I yeah, a traitor? Yeah, this is English, love. This is Yorkshire. No, I'm asking it, you why you are maybe, a traitor to your own bloody country. Well, just tell me in what way I'm a traitor. Why you and don't swear. You don't swear. Islam. Don't swear, girl. I'm not, I'm not swearing. I don't follow no. Islam. I'm not I don't follow I don't follow Islam. Uh, yes, you do follow Islam. What does that mean, I follow Islam? You follow Islam. I've seen you on YouTube. I've seen you following them. I've seen You've you seen me being... following Islam. What do you mean by following, girl? Oh, what do you mean following Islam? I've actually met you, George, in 2007, um, in Luton, actually. Um, I went along to a respect party. It was on down the roads. I don't know if you remember. I don't actually know. No, well, you, you was holding a meeting. I went along, I brought a bird with me, and we went to see what the respect party was all you about. You brought a bird with you? What, a parrot? Please do not shout at me. Do not barrack or harangue me. Speak to me, right? You keep calling us the so-called English Defence League. Now, I must correct your English here, George. We are not the so-called English Defence League. We are the English Defence League. Well, that's actually not a correction of anything called English. And I appreciate that, though you call yourself the English Defence League, English is probably not your first language. Because I'm calling you the so-called English Defence League because you certainly don't speak for the English, the vast majority of whom view you with unalloyed contempt. You're nothing to do with defense, because actually all you do is cause offense, sometimes physically. And you're not a league, you're a sink of moral depravity. That's why I call that you... That is our name, that is what we are called, so our name is the English Defense League, we are the English Defense League, not the so-called English Defense League, as your name is George Galloway. You're not the so-called George Galloway, are you? No, well, you're clearly missing my point, but then that may be uh, the fault of our education system. I'm saying that you've got no right to call yourselves the English Defence League because you're not a league, you're not defending anyone, and you certainly don't represent the English. What would you know about that, George? Do you, do you represent the English? Who do you represent, George? Uh, well, I've been elected five times to the British Parliament. Um, how many times have you been elected to uh, anything? Uh, who have you been elected by, George? Who, 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 who did your block vote come from, George? Well, there is no such thing as a block vote in British elections, but I was elected four times by the 99% white electorate of the West End of Glasgow. How does that grab you? Who does the vast majority of your vote come from? Well, I'll say it again, because clearly our education system has failed you. I was four times elected 
by the 99% white electorate of the West End of Glasgow. How does that grab you? Say that again, George. Well, I'm, I'm really struggling with the uh, intellectual prowess of Mark in Wiltshire, this splendid example of the master race. Well, uh, Stephen Burnley, he wants to talk about the Norway situation. Let's hear what Steve's got to say. Steve, welcome to the show, my friend. Hello, Ray George. Nice to speak to you. And you, sir. Go ahead. Um, I just thought, it, I know, it was an absolute tragedy what's happened. But uh, this guy, I know, this might be controversial. But uh, he hasn't been found guilty yet. But what I want to talk about is, um, you know, the newspapers about... Um, They've already got him guilty, obviously. But the in English Defence League, they're all linking it to the English... Oh, you had a BMP and things like that. Yes. And I'd just like to say... I know it's a tragedy. I know it's a tragedy. But, um... Yes. <laughs> I say that. No, it is a tragedy. I, I know that. I can hear your knuckles dragging along the floor, am I right? No, 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 whatever. But, uh, are, you, are, like, you, are you sitting there with a blow-up Adolf Hitler doll with moving parts? No, I've heard uh, listeners talking about, they're trying to be like psychologists. Oh, he, he was doing this, he was doing that. Well, there's no psychology really uh, necessary, and as for the links to the English Defence League, they were links made by him and acknowledged by the English Defence League. Has that been uh, confirmed, yeah? Oh yes, my dear. It's oh, been yeah. confirmed. Yes, uh, where, Richard, where from... Richard the Lionheart ac acknowledges today in the media that he may well have been the mentor of this in, mass in, murderer. In the, in the what, George? In, in the what? In, in the media? Uh, yes, I've got the newspaper cutting uh, in oh, front of me. Yes. Okay. Now, yes. now, I know you don't want to hear this, mm. but this How do you mass... Know I don't want to hear this. You're uh, allowed to your opinion. I've already... You're allowed your uh, opinion. Uh, uh, not only have I already inferred it, so is everybody listening to you. Now, this mass murderer came yeah. to England to march with the so-called English Defence League. He hailed the English Defence League in his 1,500-page manifesto, most of which was exactly the same kind of poisonous, racist, bigoted ravings as you'll read and hear from the so-called English Defence League any day of the week. In fact, his last message before he murdered 77 people, many of them young boys and girls, was to the English Defence League, keep up the good work, lads. Don't you know any of this? Where, and have as, this where have you got this information from? I've got all the information right in where front of me. Where have you got me, this information from? From his 1,500-page manifesto, which I have read and you should read, read. It's on every news website in the world. I am not condoning what he did. I'm not asking you to condone it. I'm not where even... Have you, where have you got this information from? From him. From, from his. Him? From his 1,500-page manifesto. Maybe it didn't reach you yet. But I ask you to go and read it and search your conscience. You see, when you iterate and then reiterate that he's not been found guilty yet, you give so much away, Steve. Why? Because he has already admitted that he did it. He's on film doing it. Uh, he planned it. He where have you got this film from? From the CCTV, my dear. Do you have a television? Yes, I have. Do you ever read newspapers? Can you go on the internet and look at this story? This man has already confessed in great detail how long he prepared for this crime and why he did what he did. He's already appeared in court and acknowledged that he did it 
but denied that it was a crime. And the fact that you are on the radio, Steve N. Burnley, with your knuckles dragging as you speak, speaks volumes about you and people like you. Doesn't it? Not really, no. Well, let me assure you but of I, something. I just, say, I just want to say one thing. Don't believe everything you hear, say it. Well, what, Everybody well, is what you, well, Steve, what are you challenging? Are you saying that he maybe didn't do it? No. Okay, so we've acknowledged, both of us, that he did it. Are you saying that he didn't write the 1,500-page manifesto? In I haven't which, seen that, George. I can't comment on well, that. Well, you'd better go and look at it if you're going to come on national radio with okay. the kind of line that you're taking now. But I will, will you, look at it. Will you, will, will, will you not just accept from me that in that 1,500 pages, he repeatedly praises the English Defence League. He repeatedly states that he's marched in Bradford with the English Defence League. He wishes the English Defence League all the best. Keep up the good work, lads, he says. Why is all, why is all that so difficult for you to accept? Are you a member of this English Defence League? No, I'm not. Are you a supporter of them? No, not whatsoever. You don't even have the guts to tell us. Drunken, shell-suited, knuckle-dragging, tattooed morons from the English Defence League, one after the other, phoning up with their semi-literate, illiterate, ignorant rantings.